Hey guys, it's Phil here from jailbreakitouch.com. Today we're going to show you how to use Xiphone 3.0 to jailbreak your iTouch. So right now, as you can see, I am running version 114. That's the latest version of iTunes that's out there. So you can take a look here, you can see I'm running 114. Uh, one of the good things to do here is to make sure that your iTouch is obviously plugged into your PC or your Mac. Also one of the things, the great things to do is make sure that your auto lock is set to never. As you can see mine is set to never. On here we got the jailbreak. iPod is also supported so we click click jailbreak. It's going to run through a process. It's searching for the Apple device. It finds it and now it's going to transfer it. This is common so when you see it rebooting in recovery mode that's okay. And as you can see on the iTouch right now that it is doing its thing. You can see at the bottom of the Xiphone what it's doing. You can see that it's uh, moving itself, uh, it looks like it's doing itself properly. Uh, just so you guys know, this is actually the first time that I have done this using 3.0. So all I did was I restored my iTouch to 114 just as a default, made a factory settings, and then plugged in, uh, downloaded Xiphone, as you can see from uh, the link at the bottom, and just uh, just pressed on jailbreak. If you guys want, you can visit jailbreakitouch.com. It's a great site. We have a bunch of tutorials. We have a great form board. Our member base is growing really well. What we'll do now is I will show you what's going on. So as you can see, first of all, on the Xiphone is saying that the device is ready. So now we head to the iTouch. And you can see that the installer is on here. So what you want to do, next thing people are going to be asking is, well, how do I get the iPhone apps? Well, you're going to want the, the mail, the maps, and so on and so forth. So what we do, one of the first things you have to do is you need to connect to the Internet, which is what I'm going to do now, so I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so now that I've added the internet, what we're going to do is we're going to head to the installer. It's going to refresh some sources for you, which we've already done. Make sure that you definitely donate. What you can do is you're going to go to sources. You're going to go add. Sorry, you're going to go edit. You need to go add. You're going to type in the source, applerepo.com. Once again, that's applerepo.com. This is to get your iPhone apps. Okay, so once that's done, just click on Done. Go to Install. And now you can see that we have the iPhone app. So what you want to make sure is that whatever version you're on, so I did 114, so you want to go to settings, general, about, and you'll see that I'm running, I'm still running 114. So go back to the installer, click on install, click 114 apps, all applications click install. This is a new feature if you guys have for the first time doing this. It's called add to queue. Uh, what it does, you can do multiple installs now as opposed to the older version you're only able to do single installs. Now you can do multiple installs. Just remember though, if, it, if an install fails, you need to clear the queue. It's going to say click on install. So now we can exit out. 
it's reloading the springboard. We go back and now we have all the iPhone apps. You can see your map, how your maps work. Everything opens up nice. You'll see the squigglies work on here, which is pretty cool. You can move stuff around. So everything is here that you're looking for. So that's pretty much it. And that is how you jailbreak your iTouch using Xiphone 3.0. And that's it. Visit jailbreakitouch.com for lots more. Thank you very much, guys.